Yeah, we talked about this uh, previously because we needed that key to get in here. But the problem with this... I love the Bergenworth Bakery, best place in the game. Yeah, they, they, they do have some pretty delicious looking cinnamon, cinnamon buns. Nickelodeon bully. Yeah, so there is one of them. These guys scare me big time. Oh, I thought he was going to be really dumb. Come on. Oh, I should have equipped the fume sword. Really should have equipped the fume sword. Okay, we're still good. Or the Fume Ultra Great Sword. I did have the Fume Sword equipped, actually. I think Soul Memory is kind of annoying. But it's a good start. I think that if they... Oh, what did he drop for us? Master on Great Shield. Uh, I've said this before, but I think that the Dark Souls 3 matchmaking system should be a combination of soul level matchmaking and a gear check of some sort. Because that would solve, not solve the problem, it would account for twinks while still not keeping you from being able to help people at low levels. And again, the reason I'm being so cautious with these guys is that they are in New Game Plus 4. What are you doing? Look at them. Though, where did this arrow come from? Okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm running. Okay. Well, what you could do, Pacino, is you could just uh, give each each piece of gear a soul value. Total amount of souls that you put into it. Hold thine self together, for thine enemies feel pain. No, I think I think they're the same uh, the same enemies, Demon Parachute. But in fact, I, I'm I'm like almost 100% sure they're the same enemies, but they behave slightly differently. Okay, one step closer. Again, new game plus four, so that's why, or new game plus three, one or the other. That's why they have so much health. But thankfully we have a nipple shield, with which I am excellent at parrying. Or at least excellent at parrying them. I did not. I wish I had. Yeah, the, the first guy had a great shield, Demon Parachute. He had the Mastodon great shield. Not going to touch the bonfire. Okay, I'm going to stop for a second. Just to explain to everyone what is going to happen and to, I guess, catch my breath. 
Uh, we are going to equip the... The Flame Quartz Ring plus three for the fire things. And so the, the spells that I equipped was one of the more contentious things that we were trying to decide as we were preparing to go from new game to new game plus. One thing I neglected to consider was how risky it is to fight the Giant Lord uh, using melee. And so ideally what I, what I probably should have done was equip at least one scroll of Great Resonant Soul. Because as it stands, the only way we have of fighting the Giant Lord from range is our bow. And so that's what we're going to do, because it's the least risky option. And yes, Demon Parachute, that is the plan. We are going to pop a Bright Bug. So, uh, Bright Bug, we don't need that. We should keep that equipped. And I am going to equip the Bright Bug, because I have a feeling this is going to take a very long time. And the other thing as well, actually, is that we have to worry about uh, that's why we have Dark Arrows, actually. We do have to worry about the, the past form of Steve the MLG Hollow. Because Steve, before he was an MLG Hollow, when he was just an MLG Drang Lake soldier, you don't want to fuck around with Steve. And that happened in the stream last night, where Steve almost got us killed. So we need stability and fire defense. 63, 70. Maybe this? Still fast rolling with it. Alright, here we go. Take a drink. Yeah, Psycho Lord, who came up with the Steve V. Um, if you look double uh, A on YouTube, uh, someone named Psychalord, spelled C Y K A L O R D, made an awesome video called Steve the MLG Hollow, which is named after the Hollow who stands on the corner of the pursuer's platform and chucks firebombs at you. And so we came up with our own lore yesterday that the Drang Lake soldier who chased me that was Steve before he went Hollow, <laughs> and yeah. It's a really funny video, but it does have some flashing lights in it, so uh, if you have any eptilep epileptic tendencies, I guess, I apologize, I don't really know how to uh, articulate that. But yeah, Steve, basically, we, we want to stay as far away from Steve as possible. How much fire block does this have? 80, okay, we're good. Here we go. So Steve is one of those Drang Lake soldiers there. Do we want to wait for the fire? Come on, there we go. This is going to take a very long time. I apologize, everyone, but... Oh, thank you, Pacino. Much appreciated. Photosensitive seizures. Thank you.
Just remember, Hypno, that you don't have to reply to anyone if you don't want to. And that it's always good to take breaks. You don't you don't owe anything to anyone, but you are just there because. So if we had Great Resonant Soul, he'd probably be dead already. I should probably roll through those. But, yeah. That was really close. Welcome back, Neo Blaze. Lestat, when you are up on this platform, there's no stomping, it's just the swords. So that's why I'm up here, because it's uh, much lower risk than is being underneath him. Because when you're underneath him, he can use his AoE attack with his sword, which can one-shot you at New Game Plus 7 and higher. Hello, Absolute Oh My. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Demon Parachute. Thank you, Azur. Welcome, Azur. How long have you been here? Have I just not noticed? Okay, before I use that, let me make sure we have the Ashen Mist Heart. Or the Giant's Kinship, rather. Perfect. Thank you for the follow, Snake76. Much appreciated, friend. Welcome to the Rant King Covenant. I almost sat at that bonfire. <laughs> Thank you, Osiris. Thank you very much. Sorry, Azur. I've been I've been rather absorbed in the fact that things are actually going relatively well. Oh, we gotta kill this stupid. You can't. I I did poison the uh, giant lord absolute. Oh my! Welcome to the stream, by the way. Uh, you will have noticed that on the bottom right, a, a constant 15 was there when he was poisoned. So I was alternating between having poisoned him and uh, just shooting dark arrows at him. Just say, pat things. This guy is not the brightest. I'm probably going to take a quick five minute break. Uh, 
I don't know if I'll end the stream, but I will take a quick five minute break before we enter the next invadable area. And uh, yeah, I think that we are going to summon Ben Hart for Watcher and Defender. Uh, because our last fight against Watcher and Defender was a little bit closer than I otherwise would have liked. Latovsky, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream, friend, and welcome to the Rant King Covenant. Much appreciated. Welcome to the stream, Colby. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Okay, I think... We are safe here. Once again, even though it probably won't matter. We can't be invaded here. So it probably won't matter. But I am going to go to the washroom one more time before we proceed to Drank Lake Castle. And I shall be right back. Aldi appeared and said, I said yes to the question when he asked me if I wanted to shatter the yoke of fate. And I am not in scholar. Uh, no, Neil Blaze, you didn't screw up. Uh, if you want to fight Aldia. Um, hey, Dahlia. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I hope your day at work went well. Uh, if you want to fight... All the Neo Blaze, you have to answer yes to his questions, or at least I think you have to. Uh, yes, it is absolute. Oh my, we are uh, the only thing we have left is uh, Drang Lake Castle, um, fighting the Watcher Defender and Nishandra. I did wash my hands, and you wouldn't hear the water because the the mic is directional, I guess. And it would be gross if I didn't wash my hands. Because then every time I touched my controller, I would be, you know, getting bacteria all over it. It was a day, that's all I gotta say. Yeah, that's that's work, I guess. But I hope it wasn't too bad. The towel is dry. Oh, what the... Wow! that damage, eh? Okay, we gotta fix our inventory here. Alright, alright. Good stuff, Dahlia. Well, I hope that uh, we can all help you do just that. That's what we're here for. So that we can all relax and have a good time. And so that you guys can all watch with bated breath to see whether or not I mess up right at the end of the run. It's okay, Absolute oh my. Uh I will be archiving this on YouTube. So if you go to... Here, let me double check what the URL is. Um, YouTube.com slash Aegon underscore of Astora. Yep. So the link, you may have to copy and paste it because I think the underscores screw up the 
links in the Twitch chat. What happens if I die, Colby? Then I restart it. Uh, so just so you know, um, Osiris, if it makes it any easier for you, that link will also take you to my channel. YouTube.com slash Aegon underscore of underscore Astora. And I will be archiving all of the live streams that I've done in the last week there. Hello, Garnett. Welcome back, friend. How are you doing? I hope that your day has been going fantastically. My mom uh, phone and I picked up not realized my mic didn't mute. Had viewers listening to me argue with my mother about how to log into Wi-Fi. Well, that must have been uh, that must have been interesting to say the least. Almost forgot about you. Okay, uh, absolute oh my. Yeah, I do the majority of my stuff on YouTube. So this is just something I'm doing for you know the end of the summer to not exactly celebrate the fact that um, the academic year is starting again, but I do very much enjoy what I do. Otherwise, I wouldn't have agreed to do another six years of school after having finished uh, five years of undergrad. Where do I find the Black Witch armor set? Uh, you mean in Dark Souls 2, I'm assuming. I believe that it's sold by... Um, by Navlan, the Royal Sorcerer, in Aldia's Keep. But in order to be able to buy it, you need to either release him, at which point he will... Uh, in order to be able to release it, release, or you will either need to release him, which will lead him to invade you. And the... Other option is if you go to him while hollow, he will commission you to carry out assassinations, which you don't actually need to do, um, but you do need items to be able to get it. So you have two options there. Not many people watch me in uh, Aegon, but a few of them muted their volume. I thought that is very, very cool. Very, very cool. And I'm happy to hear that. I think for me, even if I had heard that, I probably wouldn't have said anything. Because everyone has family, and everyone argues with family all the time. Remember, you need the Dorito Soul next. Yeah, that's that's the plan, Azur. Uh, I do need... I want to get my hands on some baby wipes as well, though, so that I don't get my controller all covered in the, the uh, Dorito Soul... Remnants, I don't know. <laughs> can the ghost be poisoned? Let's see. Ah, they can. Very nice. Well, it's not necessarily that he can be fooled. I, I think it's just that he assumes that these people won't part with these items. And that if you have them, you may... you likely have already killed them. And he has no way of verifying that because he's trapped, right? The Falconers already had too many Doritos, that's why they that's why they went hollow. Too many Doritos. Not good for one soul. Hey guys, just chilling, I guess. Okay, we've not used a repair powder in a while. Oh yeah, definitely need a repair powder. Okay. I didn't have the best time today. Now what the hell happened with the bonfire yesterday? Uh, well, I'm assuming that you saw on my channel the recap slash channel update slash stream announcement video I released earlier today. And yeah, it was mostly just that I got distracted thinking about Aldia and thinking about how he's supposed to emerge from that bonfire. And completely forgot. Just went into autopilot mode. And 
didn't realize until after about two seconds after I had lit the bonfire that I had actually just lit the bonfire. But uh, yeah, we it, it took us about 45 minutes, but most of the enemies uh, remained dead, the ones that we killed. So we walked all the way from the undead crypt back to the ruined fork road, which was very nice. And then in order to reset our our home bonfire, we sat at Aldeus Keep, which worked out quite well. The feather, you need... The... you need, uh... The cartographer... you need Kelly Cartographer's helmet. You need Falcon the Outcast's, uh, staff. Yeah. Yeah, you missed... it was... it was rather uneventful and very slow, Dahlia, but... As I mentioned, it'll be... Yeah, no enemies until we got to, like, right here. This is where the enemies started respawning, this tunnel here. So it was mostly just me being uh, overly cautious, but we did it. Yeah, the ladder from the Majula Merchant, and I think there's one more that I'm not remembering. So yeah, you don't actually need to kill any of the NPCs. Very good. Yeah, kill doesn't really do all that much, I guess, so. Yeah, he doesn't help you at all, really. But I guess it's meant to be another one of those do you have morality moments. Not saying that you don't if, if you kill him, but that that's what the game designers seemingly intended. Yeah, Strade's kind of an ass, so I can understand that. I hate his whole feeble cursed one speech. So that's why whenever I uh, buy something from him, what I do is I just I walk away so that he goes, Don't walk away, cursed one! <laughs> Got it, and now I'm close to the staff. I just gotta kill Kale because I don't want to wait. Yeah, and Kale should be in the basement of the or the 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 spot right before the basement in the mansion. Let's see if we can poison the Macedons from here. Cannot. Have I? Have I done what? Killed Kale? The answer to that is no. Uh, my first playthrough of the game, I killed him by accident because uh, I thought he was an enemy and I just started attacking him. And had no way to get to the mansion because uh, I didn't know about the gravestone mechanic. Because he doesn't drop the key, he drops his helmet. Have you seen a coca before? I don't know what that is, so I'm going to say no. <laughs> what magic do you have, and what's the best magic you can use in fighting someone online? Uh... That really depends on you and your own personal style, right? There's no best magic. But if you are wanting to do like a spell sword type build, I guess, if, if you want to mix melee with sorcery or hexes, I would highly recommend the Soul Greatsword and the Dark Greatsword because those are really, really fun spells to use and they can clip through walls as well. Um, Beyond that, the spells that buff your weapons, so either magic weapon, great magic weapon, crystal, magic weapon, sunlight blade, dark weapon, and 
Kowakas. Okay. No problem, Colby. Another one which might be frowned upon, but you can use it if you if you're using faith is Wrath of the Gods, which is an AoE attack that is rather powerful, but in, that in this game has kind of a slow windup. Uh, force is basically the same, but it's got a quick a quick startup and uh, but doesn't do any damage. All right. I hope you will all forgive me if I go quiet soon. Yeah, that's what I figured, Demon Parachute, but just wanted to warn him, that's all. Which one of you? Is it you? There you are. The only thing Demon Parachute is that it does kind of look similar to heal. So they might think that you're healing, but I guess that's a tactic that, could, that you can use, really. Thank you, Double A. Much appreciated. Thank you for your understanding. good between us now. Oh. Well, if you keep calling him by the name that that uh, he doesn't want you calling him by, then I don't know. <laughs> Although I guess it is a little bit harder to... People actually message me after walk to say they forgot it exists. Okay, so I guess people aren't really using it all that much anymore. Say what, Double A Sharma? I'm not uh, a lady of honorable battle. I'm all's fair in love and war type. You two shot at Kale. Poor Kale. Rip Kale. Okay, before we enter the boss room, ugh, I'm going to stretch and put in some eye drops. Wasn't Wog nerfed to the ground, might get on that. I want to make sure I'm absolutely prepared for this fight. I don't think we're going to be using the Fume Ultra Great Sword. We're probably going to use the Espada Ropera. No, I'm not going to say it. Mostly because I just really like Double A Sharma. I think that's an awesome name. <laughs> well, and I don't I don't want to do say something that might upset one of those friends. That's what I'm saying. Trust me, Aegon, I'm Miyazaki. I believe in you. Well, thank you, Vilsius. It's the final countdown. Okay, so we have no reason to not use 
um, all of our divine blessings and yeah, we should repair everything. Don't need that. Ah, bright bugs. Everyone, I am very nervous. Very, very nervous. Spotter Ropera. Actually, we should move the bright bugs. Here. You have your hordes of Navis to cheer you. <laughs> okay, everyone. Thank you very much for all the support and the kind words. And yeah, here we go. Oh wait, I'm supposed to summon Benhart. Whoops. <laughs> no, no, no. I need. I I suck at Watcher and Defender for uh, on my own. Oh, I did. Didn't get a chance to use the bright bug. I should have done that first. Well, that was certainly silly of me. All right. Thank you, everyone. I should have switched my shield as well. Whoops. Great, please. Thank you. to watch the edge here. Hoping Benhart dies, because then uh, then Nishan. Okay, perfect. Then Nishandra will be back to having normal health, and I can use a bright bug. Oh, that canceled the bright bug, didn't it? Bunch.
Whoops. Don't get greedy. Yes! Finally! Oh my god! Uh, Sir Lady Killer one I still have Estus because uh, I used Estus only like three times up to this point. Wow! Thank you all of you for being here and for all of the support even when uh, I <laughs> accidentally lit that bonfire. Thank you very much. Well, I know that, but I didn't think that elite armor at plus 10 could be enough to take the damage, even when you have... Yeah, well, it's not the greatest armor set, but um, we didn't really have any upgrade materials left at that point, and I didn't want to bother farming anything else, so we just did our best to avoid taking damage. So I assume we get the rings afterwards. Oh, minstrels will sing a song about you. Thank you, Colby. Thank you, Osiris, Neoplays, everyone. That's excellent. But I got a question for you guys. What is it, Neoblaze? Thank you, Kaners420, for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the Rant King Covenant. Okay, thank you, Siloen. Thank you, Vilsius. You and Hypno. Sir Lady Killer. Bear the curse. Thank you for the follow. Once the fire is linked, so and Colby. Fire and anyone else I missed, I apologize. It was a pleasure to stand with you. Deep, deep respect before the Rant King soapbox again. Thank you, Dahlia. To embrace or renounce this. Thank you, Colby. You're awesome, too. Uh, what's your, oh, Ancient Dragon? Uh, you can try. It's frustrating, or at least I found it frustrating. Needs more rants. Well, there's, there's plenty of that on my YouTube channel, and I did a rant yesterday as well. Thank you, Osiris. Yeah, most of my uh, content is on YouTube. So Osiris has kindly posted the link there in the chat so you can check it out. My two ongoing series, as uh, Osiris is pointing out, are uh, right now Bloodborne Let's Talk Lore, which is a community-centric lore playthrough. And a, I'm currently also doing a casual playthrough of Dark Souls 1. Well, we can still stream for a little bit. So... Yes, I did, Dormant Heart, believe it or not. <laughs> and welcome. Um, sorry that uh, you missed it. Um, but uh, it will be posted on YouTube, and we have no reason to listen to it. Watch... Th oh, yeah. What? Oh, my gosh. I got really scared there for a second. Yeah, we can do some PvP. Um, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Vital Capacity. Pacino, yes. Uh, stream's not going to end just yet. No, I'm not going to kill the NPCs. Some Bam Bam invasions. Um, well, first, let's check out these rings. Do you think the rings... I think so, because there's no other way to get them in the game. I've never actually had them before, so let's see. Oh, 
me sit up here. <laughs> I'm spent after that, even though we've only been live streaming for two hours today, and we live streamed for seven yesterday. Illusory Ring of a Conqueror, a ring of blue stone. This stone is misshaped, however imperceptibly. Render certain qu equipment invisible. Do not judge your foes by their appearance. He who approaches without a sword carries two behind his back. Illusory Ring of the Exalted, a ring of yellow stone. The stone is misshaped, however imperceptibly. Render certain equipment invisible. Do not judge your foes by their appearance. She who approaches without a sword carries two behind her back. Well, thank you uh, very kindly, Dahlia. Uh, yeah, you guys all being here uh, was very, very helpful. So there goes our nipple shield is gone, and our Espada Ropera. That's very cool. I've never had either of these rings before.